welcome to episode of Potion Sword Run. This is Original Seed coming to you live from my living room. But whatever you do, do not like this video. I'm still wanted by the police for stealing my neighbor's cats. Now, I bought a PlayStation 5 at launch and I play it here and there. The new games that I missed, or should I say the old games that I missed? Ghost of Tsushima, pretty good, but not great. The Last of Us, the last one, not the new one, because <laughs> uh, Death Stranding is, 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 is I'm, I'm getting there, you know, I'm still, I'm, I'm, and the list goes on. But the thing that I notice on my PlayStation 5 is that it's such a lonely, lonely world out there. What happened to Sony Online? Where is their multiplayer presence, man? What have I jumped into? See, Xbox Live is where it's at. Because if you're ever lonely for some reason, you can always hop on on live. And it's just like a whole community coming at you. Different games have different communities, different pictures. Whatever you want to do. All these different features surrounded about you and your games. But on PlayStation 5, there's crickets. I mean, yeah, you can see people stream. Very low quality on their part, but still, you can see them stream. That's pretty cool. Then it got me thinking. Did they ever really have a good presence online? And it was, yeah. Back in the PlayStation 2. Did they have dial-up? I think it was dial-up. But back in the PlayStation 2, they had SOCOM. That game was great. Very tactical. And people actually got good. It was a great big game. And then when it came to the PlayStation 3, they kind of tried. They tried. They had that game MAG. Remember? Massive action game. 256 players. Now, they never quite got it right. But they were still trying to create their own big multiplayer games. But then somewhere along the way, they kind of just gave in. And they started attaching multiplayer games, multiplayer options to their single player games. And that's kind of when the quality of their multiplayer and their online community kind of went down the hill. Now, there's no denying that PlayStation and Sony have great single player have good single player games. <laughs> but when it comes to online, they've dropped the damn ball. I didn't have a PlayStation 4, but besides those third party games, such as, what is it, Fallout Boys, whatever, the little gummy things running around, and then the Among Us as well, there was no big breakout <laughs> multiplayer game from Sony. At least none that I can think of. At least none that broke through the Xbox ecosystem where we had to talk about it. You know what I mean? Whereas you see all these Sony fanboys always talking about Gears this and Gears that. Don't even get me started with Halo. My God, they, they can't stop talking about it more than Xbox fans can. But when it comes to Sony online games, all I hear is crickets going on over there so when it came to my PlayStation 5 I still don't see anything from Sony they have a great controller it would be kind of cool to play that online maybe if you're playing some kind of hacker type of online multiplayer game you can hack into the controller and mess up their trigger button so they can't shoot I don't know Sony you are the game makers but where are they Single player games are good. And you'll play them for about 20 hours. And then after that, you put them on the shelf. And that's where they'll sit. That's what's happened to my PlayStation 5. Right now, there's no reason to turn it on anymore. I mean, I guess if you don't have an Xbox, there are third party games that you can play online. But with the Xbox, there's also first party games you can play online. And they range from not just only first person shooters, 
but there's third-person shooters like Gears. There's also pirate games like Sea of Thieves. Then there's also survival games like Grounded. I mean, the list just goes up and down a variety. But again, in PlayStation, there's crickets, 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 crickets. So now I finally understand why it is that Sony fanboys always go to Xbox podcast and why they always talk crap about Xbox games. It's because they ain't got nothing else to do. They're done with their single player games. The multiplayer that is attached to that suck. So they have nothing else to do but hate on Xbox gamers for loving their online games. For loving Halo, regardless of all the hate that it gets. Looking forward to Infinity. That was my heater. I don't know, it just started beeping, so I just turned that shit off. I don't want to blow up. So I was saying before I got interrupted by my heater. I, I finally understand why. They bash so much. When Xbox gamers are out here playing their multiplayer games, while they're out here engaged on Xbox Live, talking to their friends, taking pictures, sharing them, doing whatever they do, gaming, Sony fanboys ain't got nothing to do. Sure, they'll play Call of Duty, but those are the Call of Duty people who pretty much just stick to Call of Duty. We have them on each side. I'm talking about the real gamers that are actually playing different games. Who are living in the communities. They're mad over here. Well, we're playing online games. And you know what? It's only going to get worse. Because Xbox games are coming. Single player games. Multiplayer games. When it comes to Sony. I mean, I guess we just don't know. We know they're going to have single player games. And we know you're going to finish them very soon. And then you're going to continue on the process of talking crap. But I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You ain't got nothing to do. I blame Sony. Sony got to pick up their game. And they got to start investing in some online multiplayer games. Just recently, they got rid of Killzone 2. Because Guerrilla Games is making that freaking dinosaur game. Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West. And poor Killzone, the Halo killer, just left to the side to die alone on the side of the street. We're so calm. Something. Mag. Bring back Mag. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. Remember, when she is a fan and you're done with your single player games and you ain't got nothing to do and you find yourself an Xbox podcast or an Xbox communities only to talk crap? Run.